wimp interface in the traditional mouse is bound up with certain metaphors which were applicable then, which namely the desk and file directories and so forth. But if, if the cloud is one thing, it's a new infrastructure, but it's also a new possibility for, in, for imagining how people might interact with their own information world. And there's a number of new novel properties to it which are yet to be explored. But <clears throat> one of the ways we want to explore it is by inventing hardware to let us address those issues. So we've devised basically a, a, a kind of traditional mouse transform. It's a mouse with six degrees of freedom, but with more properties, it also has a finger um, reader, so you, can, you need to yourself. So a person would have their own mouse, which they can take with them wherever they are. And when they switch it on, whatever screen's nearby will bring their cloud, their information to them. And the metaphor we're starting off with is that the user is inside their world, inside their digital world, the cloud. And here, on this particular example, we have on the left, for example, one's calendaring and, and uh, management appointments. Over here, one's social network. Over here, activities for your day. And when you want to interact with it, you can, this, this is a real function mouse, yeah, which is just a prototype. You can grab it and you squeeze the mouse. When it's grabbed the object, it shakes, so you know you've got it. And you can bring it into the middle of your focus in of interest, and then that'll become the object you're interacting with. In addition to doing that, if we go back again, um, one, of the in, one of the interesting things about the cloud is that you have as it were, infinite amounts of data. So one of the things you might do is look at your life historically. So this is today's day. These are the people I've been working with. This is the documents I've been working on. These are my administrative activities. I can also use the mouse to go through back in time and see different relationships, different threads of my life. Having done that, you can also twist the mouse, the mouse from your left or right to see a different view of your history. So here, for example, what we've done is we're just looking at your workload, how busy you've been, what kinds of things you do. So you can cut your world up differently. And a mouse like this, which in some senses is, is technically quite straightforward, allows us to imagine a wholly different set of possibilities for interacting and new forms of interaction with new forms of content. Now, with this, we can now explore what you might do with new arrays of information about um, your activities, your social networks. Um, if we say take it to work task, do you want to take a work task and select an object? Um, different opportunities you might imagine here are, for example, if you take a message, you want to bring a message or bring it into you. What this allows us to do is to create and illustrate different relationships that the cloud can enable. So here, for example, it's showing how I've been working with you this particular object, as well as what administrative threads that particular document's been related to. Um, if you want to get rid of it, or if you want to send it to someone, you can use this metaphor to drag it, for example, to other colleagues that are related in it. So you can create a different sense of the virtual world that you're operating within. Now, we should be honest, we've just built this. We've just got it working with some hard effort just a few weeks ago. And now we're trying to explore and experience what the new user interface will be. What it will be is something which we wanted to create through technologies like this, but also clever ways of web, web data mining, new ways of using metadata, trying to find new forms of metadata that might interact in new ways.